Hey beautiful souls, welcome and thank you so much for being here. My name is Danielle. So in today's pick a card reading, this is actually a viewer requested reading from, I want to say a few weeks ago. I apologize. It's been a while. I haven't forgotten you to the viewer that requested this topic. So, um, it's a pretty generalized talk. You, you know what? I'm just going to tell you what it is. So the question was, why won't men approach me and, uh, why won't people approach me for friendships? So what I'm going to do to make this more open to everybody in their situation. Now I know I am more like a 11 relationship reading. So I will keep it more romantic in context. You can watch this as like generalized. It might be a little confusing and I apologize. But I want to keep it for, like, I'm not just going to have it, like, why men for, you know, the men that are interested in women. So I'm going to say, um, why won't they approach you? And um, I will still be getting the message cards. Now, if you're just looking this looking at this as in, like, people in general or romantic partners in general, and you don't have anybody on your mind... Uh, a lot of the message cards may not make sense to you, so you could either skip them or, you know, sometimes they are very generalized, like, you're so beautiful, uh, you're amazing, so you can take those as options, or, you know, I'm scared to approach you, like, things like that, you know, messages that come through like that um, might make more sense. So, again, if you're watching this from the mindset of just, people or men, women in general, again, message cards may not make sense. I will also be pulling the astrology dice and, or rolling the astrology dice and pulling the initial tiles for extra confirmation for names, uh, places, things, all that fun stuff for those of you that know your person or are interested in a romantic partner. Um, before I show you the crystals and talk about the decks, I will say, I will want to say, um, because this is a somewhat, or it could be a somewhat heavier topic, um, and this is something I've learned growing up myself, and even, like, going into my early to mid-30s of, you know, really learning to love myself and not change who I am and what I like about myself to fit other people's standards, uh, definitely, that was something I had to learn in my teen years. I'm not sure the age of the viewer that requested this, but I know that, you know, a lot of people do struggle with, you know, finding friends. Like, I don't even know how you find friends nowadays, being in your late 30s or, I guess, online. <laughs> I tend to be a shy person, so, um, yeah, I have no clue. <laughs> Anyways. One thing that I've heard uh, Manifestation Coach say in one of her videos about some people not liking her specifically or like her coaching or whatever it was, I remember her saying, you know what, it doesn't matter. The, those people, those people don't resonate. They're not for me. I'll stick with the people that, you know, resonate with her. So I kind of like that message of, you know what, the, the people, you can look at it this way. The people that don't think you're good enough that tell you, oh, I don't like this about you or that about you or, you know, you should change this. And you generally like yourself. Don't change for those people. Please don't. You're good enough the way you are. As long as, you know, you're being a decent human being. You're not doing anything intentional to harm people. Don't change for those people. Um, you know what? You, you can just look at it this way. They're not for you. Or, you know, that version is not for you if you're into manifestation. Uh, if you're not, that might be a little confusing. So, But, yeah, that's... Stay true to you. Stay true to what you love about yourself and... You know, loving yourself. Don't try to completely change yourself to fit what other other people's standards and what they want. If they want, if they have a certain set of standards that, you know, they expect you to live up to, they can go find somebody else that fits those standards. And that's including friendships. That's not just romantic partners. That's friendships too. 
So, yes, don't, uh, don't make yourself smaller or completely change who you are. Even if it's like somebody doesn't like when you snort when you laugh. They find it annoying. But, you know, you find it kind of funny. Um, you know, don't change your laugh just because they have a stick up their ass. So <laughs> just, just um, the people that resonate with you will always find you. So just be open to that and know that you will find your people. So, and you are fine the way you are. All right. So just wanted to put that out there. Okay, so I'm going to take, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a row or two of uh, how they view you. And then we're going to do like, why won't they approach you? Like basically from their ends, what's going on with them. And then I will be, I have like Oracle cards already pre-shuffled and selected here. And of course the messages, yada, yada, you, you know the drill if you've been here already. All right, so let's just dive in because that was uh, that was a little bit. So for group one, you have the Tarot de la Nuit with the Smoky Quartz. Wow, that really was a bit. We're going on six and a half minutes almost. All right, <laughs> the Ascension Tarot with the Hematite. Group three, you have the Mystic Monday Tarot with the Selenite Pellet. All right, so your timestamps are in the middle of the description box as well as pinned in the comment section, and I will see you lovelies at your reading. Hey, group one, you chose the Tarot de, Tar 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 de la Nuit with the Smoky Quartz. Welcome. Okay. So let's see. How is this person seeing uh, group one? How are they seeing group one? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands, Angel de la Nuit. Okay, so this is the extra card, and you know what? I can't quite remember exactly what it means. I believe it, well, obviously it translates to, like, Angel of the Night. So I believe it was, like, a guardian angel there to light the way is what I remember from that. At least that's what I'm getting from this card. Like an angel's guiding you through the darkness. So if you are feeling alone, uh, you have spirits, you have angels, loved ones, ancestors surrounding you during this time. We have the two of pentacles. We have the tower connected to Aries and uh, Scorpio. We have the Fool, Aquarius. We have the Hermit, Virgo. We have Judgment, Scorpio. You know what? I was thinking Scorpio when I saw Angela. A Angel. Maybe someone's name is Angela because I just, or I said Angelo, but you know, <laughs> there's a name there. Uh, I, anyways, I was kind of feeling Scorpio energy. And we have the Ace of Swords. Okay. So how this person sees you. Don't worry, they don't see you as a fool. <laughs> okay, so... I feel like this person doesn't entirely know. So for some of you, this could be a newer person. I feel like this person is having a hard time making up their mind or how they see you with the two of pentacles. Um, they definitely see you as a bit mysterious. I feel like you guys may be even a bit shy or introverted, not necessarily shy. You may take some time coming out of your shell. Maybe you're not like fully shy, but you... Um, tend to keep to yourself. I'm getting like, now mind you, this is a darker deck, so that could also be why. Uh, but <clears throat> I'm getting dark and mysterious. 
uh, you guys could also be very younger and uh, very young in age. Uh, maybe like late teens, early 20s. I'm also getting you could have like a very childlike energy as well. Like very in tune with your inner child. Your playful side. But I want to see... The tower card is sticking out to me. I'm wondering if this person has maybe heard that you were dramatic or something and, you know, taking, getting like destruction. So, now hopefully this doesn't you know, rub anybody the wrong way and, um, Something about your presence seems like I'm getting almost like intimidating. So I'm just going to call myself out here and maybe some of you resonate. Me personally, if I'm not smiling, I have a resting bitch face. So <laughs> I know I don't look approachable when I'm not smiling. So maybe some, so maybe some of you resonate with that. Maybe you've been told that, um, Maybe you know it yourself. You know what? It's nothing to be ashamed of. You, nobody, a lot of people aren't going to be walking around with an ear to ear grin because then, you know, people might think you're crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, don't, um, I wouldn't take that too seriously. So, that could be why, like, maybe, like, uh, your eyes could be intense and maybe when you don't smile you look a little intimidating here especially if like they don't know you this is a new person but yeah I am getting like dark and mysterious and I feel like you guys may be quiet but I feel like this could also be a newer person or they're seeing you yeah they're very curious about you they're they're on the fence they're unsure here so Depending on whether or not, like, this is a workplace environment or school or something, like, they could be hearing things about you. Um, and this is why they haven't made up their mind quite yet, but I want to clarify the tower. Why is the tower here? But they're definitely interested with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. All right, we have the Four of Pentacles. With the Eight of Wands. Okay, we have someone that's like, on a spiritual level, just like, on a mission here. And then with the Four of Pentacles, you know, just grounded and secure so I feel like this person like again doesn't they don't know like are you what what is that quote uh you know how you hear you'll hear things like oh it's always the quiet ones that cause the most chaos or oh the quiet ones they have like a um a is it a freaky side I don't <laughs> But you know, you know how you hear about, oh, it's always the quiet ones. You got to watch out for it. You know, that sort of thing. I'm kind of getting that vibe. So I'm getting like this person sees you as like quiet, mysterious. They don't know. Like they, they really don't know. Um, but they're, they're interested. But I find you kind of fascinating here. And with Angel, I feel like they do see you as attractive. Some of you may be into like a, a goth look, like a darker look, or maybe you have like dark, like super dark brown eyes, like almost black, like they're so dark that they're almost black. I'm getting that. Um, black hair or like a dark brown hair. Or I'm also getting like gray eyes or, so, or like 
Either that or you guys have like eyes that change color, but something, something about the eyes. So either color changing eyes, a unique color of eye, um, unique color of eye. That's an interesting way to put it. Unique eye color <laughs> or like very dark brown that they're almost black. Like they look black. So there's, yeah, something again, dark and mysterious, but this person does find you like they're they're curious about you and they are attractive to you okay so why aren't they approaching you <laughs> why isn't this person approaching or why don't people approach group one we have the wheel all right we have sagittarius we have the Five of Wands, the Page of Wands, or sorry, Five of Swords, Page of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Hold on here, let me. Okay. Just wanted to double check that image. We have the Five of Wands, Seven of Cups. Queen of Cups. And then we have, what are you? The Hanged Man. Okay, yeah, we definitely have somebody that's holding back here from uh, approaching you. They're definitely conflicted. For some of you, you could be having people around them. Like they could be asking about you and people could be telling them different things. So they're not sure whether or not to approach you. Hmm. Yeah, definitely conflicted. Why? Why is the Five of Swords here? We have the Four of Wands. Hmm. Are you guys married or with somebody? I, I was getting that with the Queen of Cups that you guys may not be like, or they may think that you're taken <clears throat> and they're single. So this person may not be sure whether or not you're single or if you're taken um, and maybe you are. That could be what people are telling this person. Like don't, don't approach group one because they already have somebody. And this person is, I do see that people do find you attractive here. There's, there is like a very attractive, enticing quality um, about you. Now I'm hearing that Olivia Rodrigo song in my head. Uh, was it called Bad Idea, right? You hear noise, that's just my kids. So I'm wondering if this person has a habit of or has a pattern of approaching people when they shouldn't so maybe this person is trying to hold back let's see why is the wheel here with the three of pentacles Three of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. I feel like this person has a trouble, has a, 
habit of uh, getting into trouble or in the past when it came to love interests. Um, I feel like this person has approached people in the past that maybe were taken. So they're thinking it's a bad idea, but at the same time, this person does kind of like a, they want to approach you. All right, why? What else was I going to clarify here? Clarify the hanged man. We have the Six of Swords. All right. So this person's really trying to calm their mind, get a hold of themselves before they come forward. You're tempting to this person is what I'm basically I'm summing it up to you are tempting you're enticing this person doesn't know if they should or they shouldn't especially for those of you if you are taken. But this person I'm seeing that they they think you're taken. Or that you have somebody else. I'm also seeing like with the, the Queen of Cups, they may see you like a bit above them here. Yeah, there's something dark and mysterious about you guys. Let's clarify Seven of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's just like waiting. They're waiting for the right time. Okay, let's get a little more. Why won't this person approach my group ones? Uh, Four of Swords. Yeah, definitely like not talking. Queen of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're definitely not uh, not saying much here, if anything. You're intimidating. Yeah, you guys are definitely intimidating, too. I feel like not just this person, but I feel like you. there's something intimidating about you. And it's not like, again, it's mysterious. I don't know if you guys are a bit like, maybe you come off like intense and, you know, Yeah, I want to say intense. There's something mysterious about you. Like there's, I'm getting like darkness. And I don't know if that's like for some of you, you could be radiating like Scorpio energy and that's the intensity. Or like maybe you're like into goth and you know, maybe they're like, um, they could be using like judgments or like, about you know hearing about the goth look but i'm getting like dark and mysterious like not nothing bad like not like dark as in like some evil entity like, like nothing like that i'm getting like this just something like mesmerizing it's like diving into the unknown like your energy or just like being around you even. I feel like this person wants to, they are curious about you. So again, they're not entirely sure. I feel like if they will uh, approach you, they want to test the waters first. They want to be sure. Especially if they're hearing like gossip or rumors about you from other people. This person wants to be sure uh, before they come towards you. Oh, 
Okay, so let's see our oracle cards and see what we have. We have third, or sorry, fifteen appreciation. We have guilt. We have forgiveness. Okay, so for those of you that know this person that maybe you're like no contact because I am getting like a lot of like not talking, not again, not approaching. I guess that could be no contact, right? It, depending on your situation and how you look at it. Um, this person could be wanting, could be feeling guilty and hoping for forgiveness. Um, again, I'm getting like some of you, they either you guys are either with somebody yeah I'm getting some of you are with somebody so they're not entirely sure if they should and they might feel a bit guilty if they do approach you it's kind of like you know the little bit of a devil and angel on the shoulder like the the devil's like or the ego you could say ego too it's like oh just just go for it and you know the the higher self or the angels like no we shouldn't you know they're kind of <laughs> they're conflicted oh jesus sorry <laughs> what a way to uh what a way to explain that hey <laughs> oh jeepers okay i feel like the this person just wants to, you know, appreciate and admire you from afar right now because they would feel guilty if they, do they have somebody? What? Okay. What the heck is going on? Why is guilt here? Somebody has someone. Or someone needs forgiveness. Nine of Wands. Yeah, this, okay, so they're having a hard time. All right, this person's having a hard time holding back from you. The guilt of approaching you. So somebody here has someone, um, or they think you have somebody and they don't want to, you know, steal you away or anything. Um, they could also be worried about what other people would think if they do approach you and you have somebody or if they have somebody, they might be worried about what people would think again and they don't want to. Because this person finds you attractive, I will say that. So I feel like Okay. <laughs> How, how do I say this without, uh, uh, you know, I, I can't not, you know, if it's going to offend somebody, it's going to offend somebody. Um, <laughs> I'm just thinking how to say it. The <laughs> okay, how many of you, I just saw Wolf of Wall Street a while ago and you know, Margot Robbie is saying to Leonardo DiCaprio, um when they're meeting for drinks and she's like aren't you married like why are you calling me or like why did you invite me out and he's like we can be friends can't married people be friends and she's like we're gonna be friends and then she's like yeah we're not gonna be friends anyways they ended up um married sorry if that was a spoiler for anyone who hasn't seen it but yeah so they know that they are attracted to you so again i'm getting someone is taken here or the perception of somebody being taken they don't want to step on anyone's toes or you know hurt somebody's feelings but at the same time they know their intentions so i feel like sometimes people especially if this is a specific person of yours may hold back a little bit because they may feel that it's worried about what other people will think if they do approach you because this person is very very attracted to you and uh yeah very curious as well so 
I, I feel like it wouldn't just lead to friendship. I will say that. So, <laughs> that is, I feel like that's why they're holding back. Um, yeah. Okay. Basically, that's it. That is why there was a, a lot going on there. So, <laughs> okay. What are we doing? Oh, yeah. Messages. Okay. So I'm going to pause this and I will shuffle your message cards. I'll be right back. All right. Let's see what we have. Okay, first off, we have soulmates. So if this person is admiring you from afar, they could be, you know, looking for their soulmates. You could be looking for your soulmate as well. Uh, I feel scared to open up my heart. Now, for those of you that actually know this person and this isn't somebody new, I feel like these messages might make more sense. I have never felt this comfortable around anyone else. That could be what's enticing about you. Like there's something familiar about your energy. I just want to be open and honest with you. Yeah, because like I said, for like, you guys that don't know this person, uh, some of these messages may not may seem very confusing. I keep seeing your name everywhere. So this person is seeing signs. I don't know what a healthy relationship looks like. And that could also be why, like, right? They don't, they may not know what a healthy relationship looks like. They may have, like, um, a history or a pattern of getting into trouble with relationships. You know, thinking with, um not thinking with their their mind or their heart or they they may have um ended up in not so healthy relationships you know just based off of um sexual attraction and that sort of thing we have i seriously need to stop obsessing over you so this person's a little obsessed with you and i feel like the fact that if you guys are unavailable i feel like that is like this person is obsessing over you thank you for the lesson so they could be learning a lesson here through this experience i'm going through a dark night of the soul we have i'm going through a dark night of the soul and i had a spiritual awakening I'm going to reach out. So this person does plan to approach you at some point. If I showed up at your door, would you turn me away? Okay, so this person um, really contemplating approaching you. It's hard to let people in because I feel different. So it could be they have a hard time approaching people because they themselves feel different. So again, it might not be personal, like anything's wrong with you. And again, don't think that, you know, something's wrong with you. You're not good enough. Definitely don't think that. Stop thinking that if you're thinking that. Um, they could be shy. They could be scared themselves. I keep seeing your name everywhere. What the? F All right. Apparently, except for this everywhere is in caps. So they're really seeing your name everywhere. I didn't realize I have double at that. I'm sorry I can't talk right now. I enjoy your company. So I feel like even if it's at a distance, this person finds ways to be in your energy. If I asked you to stay the night, would you? Yeah, okay, so. Hmm. If I showed up at your door, would you turn me away? If I asked you to stay the night, would you? Okay, this person, I will say, this person doesn't intend to just be your friend. <laughs> my friends and family know about you. We have my love. I love your playful energy. I'm always checking you out. I want to be with you. All right, so yes, they, this person definitely doesn't want to be just friends. Um, and deep down, they know that. 
And again, I feel like that's why they're not approaching you. We have that guilt. For some reason, they feel like, I, again, I'm getting somebody's taken, whether it could even be both of you. Um, maybe you're looking for friendship and maybe this person's attracted to you or there's a mutual attraction. Um, but yeah, it's uh, definitely... <laughs> interesting energy here they're conflicted it's like should I shouldn't I I feel like we we are getting like I'm going to reach out you know showing up at your door asking you to stay the night um I feel like this person does eventually plan to approach you now that I'm not entirely sure in what context Maybe they will just want to get to know you first. But again, I, I'm really getting like this person just doesn't intend to just be friends with you. So this person wants more. So that could also be why they're holding back. And um, <laughs> I will say... With, without uh, this going in a different direction for a reading, but um, the the feelings that are coming through from this person aren't just, you know, romantic, lovey-dovey feelings. Uh, yeah. That's why they want to ask you to stay the night. <laughs> so, you, you get my drift. I'm keeping it. I'm trying to keep it as uh, PG as possible. Okay, so we have 12th house Pisces. We have 8th house Scorpio. We have Gemini. And we have Scorpio. Strong Scorpio, like, uh, an intense energy coming through this reading. Alright, so Pisces, Gemini, and Scorpio. If this person does approach you, you know, be honest about what you want. Don't, uh, you know, minimize your values and what you want just to have this person, just to accept this person in your life or have them come towards you. Stay true to what you value and what you want. So if this person's coming in wanting a booty call, and you're not into that. Stay true to you. Um, yeah. Stay true to you. That's all I'll say. Okay. So we have L, Y. And I'm getting Lynn. Maybe Lindsay. T. U. M. We have blank, could be anything. I'm seeing like this could be M, so someone could have a stomach ache or maybe like butterflies in, in their tummy. Uh, I'm seeing Tom, Tommy. We have E. Lucy. We have L. Ellen. We have N. I, Tony, V, Evelyn, Elvis. I'm getting Elvira. Isn't she like goth and freaky? Like, you know, the character Elvira, you could be like dark and mysterious. I can't remember where she's from or maybe, maybe the show's just called Elvira. We have Y, R, D, K, E, D, uh, D, K, N, Y. <laughs> we have, I'm seeing year. Uh, so a year may be significant. It could be 
this person could have admired you from afar for a year or there could be a year in age difference it could even seem like years since you've been waiting on this person I'm getting okie dokie <laughs> and we have another blank so it could be anything here what do we have we have seek uh, seeker seeing sky Sierra yeah I'm getting Lindsay Lindy Uh, we have Kyle. Kevin. Kylie. Kiera. Uh, Daniel. Dave. David, Levi, I'm also seeing Evan, uh, we could, one of the blanks could be a J, we could have James or Jamie, Jimmy, Also getting Kara or Kara. Uh, Vanessa. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so. Oh, I'm seeing NYE New Year's Eve. New York. I'm also seeing Toronto. Montreal. London. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. So that is what I have for you, Group 1. Wow, this was uh, quite a long reading. Okay, so I'm wishing you guys all the best and yeah, hopefully the message cards fit for you or made sense and wasn't too confusing. I will see you guys in the next one and thank you to the viewer who requested this reading. Um, yeah, thank you so much guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey group two, you chose the Ascendant Tarot with the Hematite. Welcome. Oh. All right, so we're going to see first how this person is seeing you or viewing you. All right, how does group two's person, how does this person view my group two's? All right, we have Justice, could have some Libra energy coming through. We have the Maze, which is the Wheel of Fortune connected to Sagittarius. Uh, eight, uh, or eight of Strength. <laughs> we have the Strength card. Oh, geez. Strength card connected to Leo. Oh my goodness we have the devil capricorn okay so <laughs> you're making quite the impression on this person i feel like you guys have big energy or something like all major arcana so far you guys watched me horribly shuffle the cards at the beginning so <laughs> we have the soul which is the fool 
We have the Seven of Swords. I always get like uh, Gemini energy with the Seven of Swords. I don't know if that's correct. I do have somebody that does tell me in the comments. So I'm pretty sure it was the same person that told me the Six of Cups was the connected to Scorpio and the Three of Wands is Aries. So if you're watching... <laughs> Is the Seven of Swords connected to Gemini? I just get, you know, because it's sneaky and, you know, not saying much. I'm getting, like, Gemini energy. Not to shade on my fellow Geminis. I am a Gemini, too. Um, with the Hermit. And we have the Queen of Swords. All right. And I believe, yeah, the fool is connected to Aquarius. So we do have strong air energy coming through. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We also have like fire energy as well. Um, actually, you know what? We have everything. I'm not getting water energy. So we have everything but water so far. Okay, so how this person sees you. This is, this is reminding me just like group one. They're seeing you as somebody that keeps to themselves. Um, I'm getting like they see you. They might see you as somebody that may even be a little bit cold at times with uh, like if they've heard you speak or they've... Um, had a chance to communicate with you. Now, again, I guess for like some of you, if you're watching this, like why won't people approach you in general, then they probably haven't communicated with you. But something like your communication, they may feel like you don't show a lot of emotions. So I feel like this person doesn't know. Like you're the type of person that they seem like likes their peace, doesn't like drama, doesn't really like to talk to anybody, like not even really showing too, showing too much emotion, like you keep to yourselves. So you're a bit mysterious here. You're kind of like a free, a free bird, um, but with the devil here, they, I want to see, like, why is the devil here? They think you have like a, a dark side, which we all have shadow and light. So let's see what that is. The devil could also be like temptation as well. Why is the devil here? Uh, we have the ace of swords. This person wants to get to the bottom of the truth about you. Like, I feel like they don't know. And I feel like they know they're just making judgments because they don't fully know exactly. So they don't know the truth. I feel like this person wants to know the truth. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Magician. We have Virgo and Gemini here. Now there's a lot of uh, planet of communication. Yeah, you keep to yourself. Um, this person may also see you as somebody that's very like into meditation, very spiritual, like you're on your own journey. And, but there's something like, you're definitely not a pushover. 
you're coming across as someone that even though, you know, you don't like, you like to keep the peace, you like balance, you don't like too much drama here, you like to do your own thing, you keep to yourself, but you're also not a pushover, so you won't be afraid to, you know, to tell someone off if need be. I'm getting like, the that's the vibe that you're coming, that's coming off of you um, from this person or towards this person. That's what they're assuming or what they're picking up on. All right, so why won't they approach you? Okay, so yeah, definitely someone that prefers the peace, doesn't like conflicts, but you know, if need be, you're not afraid to tell someone off. We have the chariot, we have cancer. All right, we have we have a water sign. Oh, well, we have a water sign there with Cancer. Seven of Cups. Oh, okay, interesting. So we have the dark and the light here, and we have the dark and the light here as well. Five of Cups. Okay, so now we're getting all water energy when it comes to why won't they approach you. Oh, this person's more emotional, and you're coming across as like... spiritual but not like warm and fuzzy so I don't know if you guys have like an avoidant attachment style you could have like that type of attachment style or that's what they're picking up on we have the king of wands we have the ten of crystals we have the tower um Aries and Scorpio. The Page of Wands. And we have the Two of Swords. I just love that outfit. Okay. So I feel like you're coming across as somebody who's very independent and you like you don't need anybody. Um, again, they don't know much about you. You have this intimidating presence, even though, you know, you may be like on the spiritual side. But I feel like this person is actually scared to come towards you because this person is coming through like more emotional. And I feel like they're scared that you might, um, like they might embarrass themselves if they come towards you, if they take that action. I feel like this person normally does feel confident taking action, but when it comes to you, like they're, they feel a bit, um, smaller. So I feel like it's almost like you can knock people down a couple of pegs on a pedestal like you're not that that's how you're coming across like again there's something about you even though you're coming through as peaceful spiritual like to keep the the peace and the balance there's something that's like no bullshit about you and this person <laughs> finds you a bit intimidating and it's kind of like man if I come towards group two I better show up with something like to offer something to bring to the table is something to offer here because yeah there's something uh intimidating i feel like this person doesn't know what to say to you they don't know how to approach you they're they're scared and i feel like they're not quite used to this energy especially like coming through as the king of wands this person wants to come through as you know very confident uh, very sure of themselves when they approach you. They like to take action. But there's something about you that is, like, intimidating. Like, they, they're not entirely sure where you stand. Especially if you don't show your emotions. Um, they don't know, you know. Yeah, there's something, like, very independent about you.
And I feel like this person, they're not sure what you want like this. I feel like this person is looking for somebody to settle down with. So they're not sure if that's something you're interested in or if you're off doing your own thing, uh, living a more spiritual solo, like monk life type thing, like being the independent um, person, individual. Why is the tower here? Knight of Cups. I feel like this person's worried you might reject them. Yeah, this person's coming through with a lot of emotions. And Scorpio is a water sign. And even though Mars is connected to Scorpio, I feel like this person is very sensitive deep down when it comes to their emotions. Um, definitely like strong like water energy coming through. Like I feel like this person, when they feel emotions for somebody, they feel it intensely. And I feel like this person, even though they may not show it, they do get hurt very easily. And uh, I feel like they're, they're <laughs> kind of scared to approach you uh, just because of that. What's the Five of Cups here? We have the Nine of Wands. I feel like they've been hurt in the past. Yeah, they've been hurt in the past. Putting in a lot of effort. And, um, the, yeah, they've been burned in the past. Okay, I feel, I'm feeling like this is complete. Let's pull your oracle cards. Oh, uh, you know what? Sorry. Let's go back. Two more. Two more uh, tarot cards. We have the Emperor. We have Aries energy. And we have the Four of Wands. Yeah, this person's looking for somebody to settle down with. Um... And I feel like they're used to being in control. But with you here, like, there's something that's very, you're very, coming through as very confident, um, very sure of yourself, very independent. And um, I feel like this person feels a little bit insecure. And normally, like, they, this person, like, some people... Are used to like if somebody here if this person had a big ego in the past uh, they can't be showing up with a big ego uh, with you because you will definitely put them in their place and I feel like that's not something they're used to like they're used to being the one doing like taking the action um, you know leading being in control and um, or even being the provider, you may even like, maybe you have make more money than this person. And that could be something that they feel a little insecure about. So that could be um, what's also affecting them. Because I'm getting like what emperor and four of wands ten of pentacles i'm getting and also the king of wands like this is somebody that's a uh, a leader a provider definitely a masculine energy here um you know they like to take action but there's something about you whereas you're not coming through as like over emotional so like this person's like wondering like yeah, for some of you, some of you might not come through as like a very soft, emotional feminine if you are the feminine energy. Um, so they don't know. Like, I feel like this person, even though like we're getting like strong masculine energy here, like deep down, this person has like a is very emotional. So I feel like the the action oriented energy is. Um, 
what they show on the outside but underneath it's um they do have a lot of feelings a lot of emotions and i feel like this person's feelings does get hurt very easily but they don't show it so it's funny it's almost like and if you guys are coming if you guys are like the emotional person uh, i feel like you might be mirroring to this person uh the same thing like you might not be coming through as appearing emotional like you're coming through as more uh no bullshit <laughs> so i feel like it's it's very interesting it's almost like in a way you match like the outer um image like the projection so <laughs> they're not quite sure what to make of that they don't want it they don't want to put themselves out there put their feelings out there you know be vulnerable and be rejected okay so we have get more information okay so yeah this person wants to know more before oh excuse me they approach you we have dreams this person's dreaming of you and we have number 26 hostilities Yeah, they don't, they don't know. They're not sure whether or not, like, they're intimidated by you. They're not sure whether or not to approach you. So I feel like they're just kind of waiting, trying to, or even trying to ask around about you a bit uh, from afar. But we do see, this person does dream about you. All right. So let's see. Oh yeah, I don't know why I'm shuffling on Kim. <laughs> Unless you guys don't care if I shuffle, but you know it keeps you here waiting longer. So okay, I'm gonna shuffle these off camera and I will be back. All right, let's see what we have. We are starting out with I have tried to numb out the pain. There's a lot that I haven't told you. I'm still in a lot of pain. Okay, so this person, yeah, they're go they have um they're going through a lot of emotions right now. I've been burned too many times. Didn't I say that earlier on in the beginning? I think I did. Either that or it was group one. We have can I keep you? So uh, when I wrote this, I was thinking like Casper, you know, from like what, 1996 or whatever popped into my head. So I was just thinking of, you know, Kat and Casper dancing at the school dance. Um, and he whispers in his, her ear, can I keep you that? Yeah, that's, that's what popped into my head as I was uh, writing down these messages. So that movie may be significant or 1996 may be significant we have i don't want to make the first move i changed my mind <laughs> I tried calling me at times but i hang up when you answer i don't want to make the first move i changed my mind and i've tried calling you but i hang up Oh, geez, that reminds me of, you know, like when you're 12 years old and you're calling your crush and hoping they answer and they answer and you hang up and you're giggling with your friends. Yeah, I, you're probably not that age, but, you know, sometimes people get nervous. I, I don't know. <laughs> I want to wake up next to you every morning. So this person has dreams of like waking up next to you. We have summer fling. Um, this could have been a summer fling with this person. Maybe they're scared to approach you again. I want to start as friends and grow from there. Are your feelings mutual? So, and then we have, do you trust me? You are perfect to me. Whenever you come around, I lose my words and start to shake. 
Okay, so you make this person nervous, and they don't know how you feel, where you stand. You are perfect. Like, in their eyes, you're perfect. More than friends. Yeah, this person wants to be more than friends. But they want to grow as friends. So, okay. That might be confusing to some of you. Like, what, they do they want to be friends? Okay. This person wants to have, like, a very solid foundation built on friendship. If that makes sense. It's not like they're like, oh, let's be friends first and then grow. I mean, but they want to like, okay, this person just doesn't want to, you know, get it on, have a booty call, like right out of the gate. This person wants to get to know you on a deep level, basically here. And but they do want to be <laughs> more than friends. They, they want it to get to that point where it's uh, romantic and intimate, physically intimate. We have, I know I have a lot of pride. So yeah, this person is coming through like they have some pride here. You intimidate them. I feel like you kind of bruise their ego a bit, especially if you're showing up like confident and sure of yourself. We have, I want to give you soft, gentle kisses. All right, so that's what we have for messages. Or maybe Casper was from 1995. I can't remember. 1995, 1996. One of those. I want to say 1995 because I remember watching it. Yeah, I'm going back, back and forth. Never mind my brain. It's okay. All right, we have Scorpio. We have Ninth House Sagittarius. We have Gemini. And we have Second House Taurus. Okay, Gemini and Scorpio came through the first group as well. I'm seeing Ray, Bay, B, Beach, Bee Gees, the Bee Gees. Uh, we have E, G, E, B, A, H, N, U, O, J, John, seeing June bug, someone afraid of June bugs, orange juice, likes orange juice, oh, geez, almost dropped that, we have a, <laughs> Jonah, we have I, Joanne, we have O, Joanna, we have Joy, of course Jane, we have also have J, we have P, Nap, someone's tired, loves to take naps, we have E, we have U, N Z seeing Zoe I'm also seeing zoo someone loves animals Pez like Pez dispenser we have R Y D <laughs> and we have S. I'm getting paneer. <laughs> Hmm. I just heard a little, it sounded like a little dog, uh, a little dog bark. 
I'm seeing AJ, Andy. If we had a W, we would have Andrew, Andrea, or Andrea, depending on how you pronounce the name. Brandy. Brad. Brandon. Sandy. I'm also seeing Sunday. Uh, Sunday may be significant. Maybe someone's born on a Sunday or that's your favorite day of the week. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm also seeing sunny. Okay, so, yeah, that's what I have for you, group two. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully something here resonate, resonated for you, and I'm wishing you guys all the best. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group three, you chose the Selenite palette with the... Um, I was going to say Modern Witch Tarot, but it's a Mystic Monday Tarot. All right, let's see. How does this person view you? How are they seeing you right now? How is this person seeing my group threes? Starting off with the Queen of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune with Sagittarius. We have the Herm, uh, I was going to say the Hermit, but the Moon <laughs> with Pisces. We have the Four of Wands. So we have strong fire energy coming through so far. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Seven of Wands. Three of Wands connected to Aries. Thank you to the viewer that told me what this is connected to. And we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so we do have like strong fire energy coming through. Okay, this person definitely sees you as fiery. Hmm. Okay, they feel like intuitively there's a reason why they, um, you came into their life. I'm also getting like this person sees you a bit mysterious. Yeah, you're like definitely... Um, someone that will <laughs> definitely put up a, not afraid of any competition, not afraid of conflict. You're someone who's very confident, um, very sure of themselves, also very attractive. Like your confidence is absolutely freaking sexy to this person. Which is interesting because you might be like, well, then why the heck are they not approaching me? Uh, we Don't worry, we will get into that. Um, 
yeah, you guys have like, it's like you're getting your priorities and straights. So I don't know if you guys, I'm kind of getting like you guys have may have had like a recent glow up that this person is secretly like watching you with, with the seven of swords here. There's also like, I'm getting this person watches your social media here with the seven of swords. Like they don't know everything about you. Like there's a bit that's a mystery or maybe you're like you have an online presence. Like maybe you're um, some sort of influencer or like TikTok, whatever other channel there is. I don't know. Uh, YouTube maybe. And, you know, they could be watching you having like some sort of glow up or whatever. Um, sharing your journey, sharing your story with the world. Um and that could be all they see, right? They're seeing like this confident, radiant person and, but they don't know like who you are deep down. So you're a bit of a mystery and I'm getting like, this is all this person has is like media in a way to watch you, even like social media, Facebook, Instagram. I don't know what else there is for like t Twitter. Is it still, or X or whatever the heck that's called now. <laughs> Um, yeah, like there's, I feel like you guys may even have like uh, quite a few admirers to be honest, or even followers. Like you may have like a big TikTok following or Instagram. But they see like, that you may have like a lot of people coming at you. We have to like fight off all the all the admirers there. Yeah, I'm getting like you guys are like really getting your shit together. So I'm getting some sort of glow up. But why is seven of swords here? Seven of swords, three of swords. Okay. Okay, so this person has seen that, like, they suspect that you've gone through, like, a lot. There's, like, a lot more that meets the eye when it comes to you, like, underneath this radiant, confident human being that you are. This person suspects that there's, there has been someone who came from, like, a very dark period. Like, you've gone, you've faced your shadow and you, you're coming out, like, on top, like, this glow up here. Like, you're getting... Your life together. I don't know if you guys are inspiring people. Maybe you've like gone through like a very dark past. Um, struggled with like a substance abuse. Or that's very random for me to blurt out. But that could be like something that you're, you're sharing with the world. And um, your journey. And so you've struggled. You've been, you've been through a lot of pain. And now you're. I feel like. To this person, living like your best life. Why is the moon here? Two of Cups. Hmm. I'm getting soulmate or twin flame. You could be on that journey. But I'm also getting like this kind of reminds me of even though like the two of cups is like partnerships, union, that sort of thing. I also feel like you've come into union with yourself. It's like this person, she's um, sharing a glass with her higher self or her soul. So I feel like you guys have really been on a journey and um, like this person can only like admire you from your from afar. They don't know like that too much about you, um, but this person does watch you. OK, so why won't they approach you? Look at the eight of wands. Eight of Swords, the Hermit, Virgo, Eight of Pentacles, we have the Six of Swords, 
Ace of Wands, Seven of Cups. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. All right. First of all, I will... So, I feel like this person feels very inspired by you to go on their own journey of self-discovery. I also feel like for some of you, the reason why they're not approaching you is because uh, they could be at a, at a distance from you. Like, you, they physically can't right now approach you other than, like, to approach you online. But I feel like this person, they don't feel confident enough. Like, they have a lot of fears. They have a lot of limiting beliefs. Uh, they are trying to move past it. Like I said, for like, you are inspiring this person to, you know, master themselves. Like, ma even master a skill. You could be teaching online, like, some sort of skill, even. But, yeah, I'm getting, like, you're an inspiration to this person. Why, why is the Eight of Swords here? Ten of Wands. This person is worried they have a lot of baggage. Like, they have a lot. Yeah, a lot of baggage. They're scared they have a lot of baggage. Like, too much. And with you coming through as having your glow up or, you know, having, like, some sort of change here this person feels like they can't come through with their all their crap so i feel like again you are inspiring this person to really go within and work on themselves work on getting their life together as well i feel like this person really didn't have direction before I uh, really didn't have a plan, didn't know what they wanted to do. Maybe they bounced around from, you know, place to place, job to job. Maybe they never, never really settled down. They traveled a lot. Um, and now this person, like they could have been like a hermit traveling a lot or it was a nomad or whatever. Um, but yeah, now getting this person is inspired to do their own work so they feel like they have a lot of catching up to do to even match your energy because this person has a lot of a lot of fears a lot of beliefs like they they have they're they're too much for you okay let's get another one eight, eight of swords with the ten of wands yeah, devil. They have a lot of fears. They have a lot of um, limiting beliefs. And this person themselves, they could be going through, like I said, like substance, substance abuse. Maybe some of you um, are sharing your journey of overcoming something like that, uh, that sort of mindset. And uh, this person resonates with your message and you, you have a shared experience. And this person, again, they don't feel like they're up to par with you. So they're having a lot of fears and a lot of limiting beliefs that they need to overcome before they approach you. So, but yeah, I, again, I'm getting that this person is working on it. Why is the seven of cups here? Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to have like something to leave behind, like a legacy. Yeah, I'm getting you guys have really inspired this person in some way. 
Even if you're sharing your experience through like a Instagram post or a Facebook post or whatever, I feel like something about what you're sharing, your message, is inspiring to people. You could even be sharing a message about family. Um, could have dealt with like a toxic family situation that you've recently, you know, gotten out of or um, that sort of thing. Maybe you finally found like a, a soul family or something and this person is finding your story inspiring and needing to get out of a, a situation like that themselves. But we have somebody here that you are inspiring for them to actually be committed to their goals, committed to, you know, self-discovery, um, evolving as a human being. Like this person definitely feels more, even though they, they're struggling with fears, there's something about you that inspires this, inspires this person to feel a sense of purpose now. So they're like on their journey before they approach you. It, it's kind of like they're, they're seeing you as this like beautiful angel, like Group three is this beautiful human being out here, like saving the world, helping humanity or whatever. Um, just being you. Maybe you're like, you do charity work or you help the community in some way. Like whatever it is, they see you as this beautiful light, this beautiful angel. And they're seeing themselves with all this baggage, all this like, uh, it could even be like trauma, whatever it is, fears, limiting beliefs, like they have a lot going on and it's like they don't want to come, come and like dump it all on you. So they need to figure that out and maybe they physically, like I said, they could be long distance. Maybe they physically can't come towards you. Um, but even if this is somebody you've never met before, I feel like People are feeling like you bring up people's fears and insecurities, but in a, in an inspiring way, if that makes sense. Like you're not like shoving it in their face. Like, look at you with all your trauma and, you know, nothing like hurtful. You're not doing it in a hurtful way. You're doing it in an inspiring way that this person actually feels comfortable diving into their shadows. Maybe you do shadow work. Um, but yeah, they feel comfortable um, going within now because of you. So yeah, I'm getting like, they feel like they can't come towards you if, maybe you're a light worker. You consider yourself a light worker, but yeah. Like again, like, <laughs> I keep saying like <laughs> you're this beautiful radiant being and or angel and they don't want to tarnish that we have the ten of swords we have the six of pentacles and the princess of pentacles okay This person has a fear that they're going to hurt you. Like they, again, they like, they feel like they have work to do on like learning how to show up in a relationship, learning how to commit, how to be there, like, and bring like equality, um, equal give and take to be there for each other. They want to learn more about this and you know bring an opportunity because this person feels like 
Like they would just hurt you. And that, I will say, that is definitely an avoidant attachment mindset. And the reason why I say this is because I do, <laughs> me personally, I have fearful avoidant. And I've been mostly on the avoidant side uh, for the past couple of years. I've recently learned over the summer um, about attachment styles. So... I learned that that was mine, which, you know, was very surprising to me. Um, but yeah, that is a mindset I have had. Like, oh, I don't want to let people in. I'm just going to hurt them. And I am getting that that's your person's, this person's mindset is I don't want to hurt this beautiful angel. Um, this, this person who does all this beautiful work and, you know, is there for people, is very kind, loving, general, generous, inspiring. And here I am with all my baggage. Like, that's, I have thought that stuff in the past, but I'm just, you know, explaining from your person's perspective. They're seeing themselves as having too much um, baggage that they might tarnish you or. Um, maybe they even have a fear of commitment, but this person doesn't want to hurt you. So yeah, definitely, definitely getting a uh, avoidant attachment style there. It could even be fearful avoidant, but definitely I just picked up on when I saw the, <laughs> the 10 of swords avoidant attachment style. They don't want to hurt you. They feel like they, they hurt people. So they stay away because they don't want to hurt you. It's a, it's a self-preservation thing. It's also a self-sabotaging energy. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at our oracle cards. We have abundance. And we have be assertive. We have number 24, adjacent possibilities. Okay, so when I see adjacent possibilities here, I'm getting like there's like, um, well, multiple or endless possibilities. I'm also, I also feel like there's infinite realities, infinite like versions of ourselves, infinite versions of other people as well. Um, I feel like this person needs to come into they need to pay attention to their thoughts uh, their mindsets they definitely need to shift more into I'm not saying like positive vibes all the time because you know that's that's really not realistic I mean I know it's ideal to try to be a little more you know more on the gratitude side of things but you know if you get a flat tire you're not gonna be like oh this is amazing <laughs> right so yeah definitely not like positive vibes all the time but I feel like your person needs to, like, if they have had a more negative mindset, they need to pay attention to that. And I feel like they are through you. Like, again, I feel like you are inspiring this person in some way to consider other possibilities. And I feel like you are actually a blessing to this person. There is um, this light coming out of you that's uh, sharing this gift. Again, whatever it is you do, like you have this beautiful gift. And maybe it's just your presence. Maybe it's your smile. Like something about you just lights up the world. And uh, this person is feeling like there there is hope even if they have like those avoidant attachment style or detachment style um, tendencies, this person is wanting to work through them. 
wanting to rather than having the mindset of oh, I'm just gonna hurt group three I, I better not approach them because I'm just you know I just hurt everybody I come into contact with you know, that sort of mindset they're shifting out of that they're seeing other possibilities like other opportunities here so that is what we have for your person all right messages first what am I doing Okay, so I'm going to pause. I will shuffle these and I will be right back. All right, let's see what we have for messages. We have, I am so very sorry. I have a lot of past trauma that I need to face. So I feel like this person is, I'm getting that they're apologizing to themselves, to their inner child. Oh, um, holy shit, look at that. I feel like a kid again. I swear to God, guys, I, pr I promise you, I don't like cherry pick the cards. That's not why I pause. I honestly pause because I don't want to keep you guys any longer, like, shuffling. I know it doesn't bother some people. Like, personally, me, when I watch tarot readings, it doesn't bother me. When people shuffle for, like, five minutes, like, I don't care. <laughs> but, I don't know. For me, personally, as a... A reader, I don't like to just shuffle for five years. We have reconcile. So there could be a reconciliation. I also feel like this person is learning to embrace their inner child, um, learn to listen to themselves, and really go within and reconcile with themselves. They're learning forgiveness. They're forgiving themselves. I feel like they're releasing themselves from any trauma that has happened in the past. Now, if it involves other people, it doesn't mean, like, what other people did is okay. It just means that they are releasing the attachment. Like, they're no longer being a victim to the past. Being a victim to whatever happened in their childhood. They're acknowledging it. And they are... They don't want to give their power away. So I feel like you are, you could be like an inspiration, like even sharing your story. I hide how I truly feel about you. So this person. Yeah. Okay. And that could also be like that. Um, avoidant attachment or anxious avoidant. Not sure, like, would that be, like, anxious attachment style? I feel like anxious attachment style would be, like, the one to really hint and express how they feel more so. Just trying to like, get into the energy of when I was in more anxious attachment. Yeah, I was more, like, I was more the person that would message constantly and reach out and, yeah. Okay, so... I feel like this person could be like detached right now and that's why we have I'm leaving the third party this does not have to be romantic it could be whatever the block is it could be their own freaking thoughts it doesn't have to be work it doesn't have to just be friends they could be leaving toxic friendships toxic family whatever it is could even be like just toxic mindset. Maybe it's their own mind that is the third party. Their own habits. Their own, um, them being their own block. Because usually that's what it is. We have, are you seeing anyone? We have twin flame. I ghosted you because I was triggered. There's so much I want to say to you. I could stay up all night and chat with you. Ooh, I just threw one on the floor. Let's see if I can find it. I don't even know where it went. It's like starting to get dark. And Okay, I'm going to pull another message card for you guys. From the middle of my deck here. Okay. So, yeah, I have no clue, but went, like, way under my desk, so I'm not gonna, 
go and I think I just dropped another one so <laughs> I'm seeing you in a new light I also feel like you are the light for quite a few people I made a list of songs that remind me of you I think about kissing you we have soulmates soulmate twin flame definitely like soul Connection energy. We have. I have a lot on my plate right now. I feel like I've known you for lifetimes. Are you still with them? So you could be the one with the third party. Maybe you're leaving somebody. I've been cheated on before. This person has been cheated on before. I have imagined our wedding day. I feel a sense of peace and warmth when I'm around you. So for some of you, it could be like you've already like you have history with this person and you're here wondering why they haven't been approaching you because I'm getting that with a lot of these messages or you have somebody that just secretly admires you from afar, imagining your wedding day and fantasizing about you being twin flames and having kids and no one compares to you. We need to stop hurting each other. Okay, so yeah, for some of you, you could have a history with this person. <clears throat> I just don't feel good enough for you. Also, you guys be assertive. Like, if somebody's being creepy and trying to, yeah, be creepy with you, it, pay attention. Don't meet strangers online privately. If you're going to meet anybody... Meet with friends and out in the public. <laughs> I want to explore old abandoned buildings and haunted places with you. So this person is into freaky stuff. Maybe you watch like Scary Comp. My my youngest daughter has been making me binge watch that all weekend. As well as Christmas movies. We have Let's Cuddle and Binge Watch Movies. Alright, so yeah. And going back to the message of meeting people, yeah, that, that was a serious message, even though I laugh, you know. Be safe and pay attention because sometimes there are weirdos out there. So, yeah, be safe. Okay, so that is what we have for messages. Let's get our Zodiac dice. Okay, we have Third House Gemini. We have Pisces, Aries, and Sixth House, Virgo. Oh, hey, I found that card. All right. We have, I find different ways to flirt with you and touch you. Um... Well, if this person doesn't approach you, I feel like, well, they could be flirty and, you know, brushing your arm if you are in school together or workplace or whatever. Maybe they're a customer. If you work in, like, with, in customer service. I'm seeing soup. <laughs> we have some people that really enjoy soup or stew. Maybe someone's feeling under the weather. If you're feeling under the weather, I hope you get well soon. Uh, we have another U, A, H, Ash, Asher, Ashley, E. N, sun, someone lives somewhere very sunny, we have I, we have E, we have R, P, E, sing prep, we have H, a N ran 
I'm also seeing rainy, so you, the two of you could like either be like really opposite, like someone's like you're very sunny and they're seeing themselves as very rainy, or like I said, you could be living long distance like from this person. Um, and we have P O T. I'm seeing rant. Pot. Um, you love <laughs> gardening. <laughs> There's other reasons for that word, but um, gardening is one. Maybe you, yeah. I'm seeing New York. I'm also seeing backwards, like hey. So I feel like if this person's gonna approach you, they're gonna start with. Hey. <laughs> I'm seeing Anton. Could I have somebody that's into rap music? Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing much else. I think I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, I'll leave it there. Oh, I'm seeing Sarah. Someone's last name could be O'Hara. All right, so, okay. Oh, I'm seeing Pony. Uh, could love horses or maybe you love the song Pony by Genuine. I don't know. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just going to leave it there. Okay, so let me know if you guys see anything else in the tiles. And thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully something in here made sense to you or resonated. And thank you to the viewer that's uh, requested this reading. And I am wishing you guys all the best. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.